Today we're gonna make up some pumpkin pie spice and talk about why you should be adding way more than you are to your pumpkin pie. Um, so the spices that are in pumpkin pie spice, almost every single one of them is um, a carminative, which is a uh, spice or an herb that helps you digest your food. So especially since we're eating this usually at the end of a meal, um, it's really gonna help you digest all that really heavy food you, you just consumed. Um, most recipes out there call for maybe two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice or some mixture of these spices per pie, which really isn't very much. So for bigger flavor and better digestive health, um, I am going to encourage you to at least double that and do about four teaspoons per pie. And that may sound like a lot, but it's going to taste so awesome and your tummy is going to thank you. So um, one of the first ingredients that I'm going to do is black pepper. Black pepper is not something that always shows up in pumpkin pies, but I think that it adds a really nice like brightness um, to the pie. Usually, if you look at most of the popular recipes, they're really just cinnamon, um, ginger, and maybe clove or nutmeg. Um, I like to do quite a few more. So this is about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And for all of these, um, you want to get as freshly ground as possible. And so to do that, toast your spices first. So this is my spice toasting pan. Um, you don't have to have a special pan for it though. This is just the one that I like to use. It's nice and small. Um, you go ahead and just put whatever spice you're gonna toast in there, put it on the stove. Don't walk away, move it around a lot. As soon as you start really smelling that to toasting spice, you are good to go. For cinnamon, you don't wanna just drop this right into your spice grinder or it might break the spice grinder. So you wanna kind of smash it into little pieces, just like that. Anything will smash it, side of a knife, the lid of your grater. Um, once you've got it into these sort of smaller pieces, you can kind of crack it up into there like that. For all the other spices though, you can just toast and toss. For um, the measurements in the recipe that we're gonna put in the comments is, um, is for the pre-ground spice amount. So you wanna about double that if you're grinding from scratch and you wanna grind each spice one at a time. So I'm gonna actually take the cinnamon out of here because I don't need to grind that fresh because I've already got fresh ground cinnamon ready to go. Um, and I'm gonna grind the allspice. And I'm not toasting this one today, but if I were um, at my stove, I would be. Um, but the allspice I feel like of all of these is probably the one that can you can get away with not toasting. And then we want to just grind it up until it's a fine powder. Oh, it smells so good. Still got some chunks in there. Tip it over. spice ready to go. Um, the other spices that we have here, so I've already mentioned the black pepper, we talked about the cinnamon, we've got the allspice, we also have cardamom, um, which is rarely found in pumpkin pies, but it's my favorite spice, and so I really like to put it in pretty much everything. Um, ginger, ginger is one that you're rarely going to grind fresh because the pre-ground stuff is very, usually really, really good, and um, grinding up those dried ginger roots is very, very difficult. Um, you can substitute fresh ginger, not for the spice mix that will be in your cabinet, but if you're gonna be making the pumpkin pie and you wanted to do fresh ginger instead, it's gonna give it a really, really nice acidic kick. Um, for allspice, we also have cloves. So cloves are a really, really strong spice. They look like these little berries, things at the ends there. And, um, so you don't wanna to use too much of it. And then nutmeg, which is always better freshly ground. Um, I have this 
cool little grater here, but any kind of uh, rasp grater will work for grating nutmeg. Um, the nice thing about this one is it catches the nutmeg. All right. So into my bowl, I've already got my quarter teaspoon of freshly ground pepper. And these measurements um, don't need to be totally specific. Like if you, this probably isn't exactly a quarter of a teaspoon, but it's close enough, right? Um, so we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of our nutmeg. But look, I've just got barely any left in there and so I'm not gonna save it. I'm just gonna put it right in there. And it's gonna taste great. I'm gonna also do a half a teaspoon of clove. This is a little bit more than a lot of recipes will call for. Um, it's because it is so strong, but I think that it really just tastes awesome. We're gonna do a whole tablespoon of cinnamon because cinnamon is the main flavor that you think of when you think of pumpkin pie. And we're gonna do a, a three quarters of a teaspoon, sorry, no, teaspoon and a half of our ginger. So that's two, three quarter teaspoons. We're gonna do a whole teaspoon of cardamom. I've got a half teaspoon here, that's why I'm doing two. And finally, three quarters of a teaspoon of Allspice. I'm gonna stir this up. Try and get out any clumps. Some of the spices as they sit, they pull moisture from the air if they've already been pre-ground. Um, so they can get a little bit clumpy, but not, not too much. And then this is enough. This is probably about two tablespoons. So this is enough for a couple of pies or one pie and, you know, some homemade lattes. Uh, whatever you want to do. Um, I like to throw it in pumpkin muffins as well. Um, really anything that where you want that pumpkin pie spice flavor. Um, just a little bit more, a little bit more uh, strong. You want to make sure we put it in a nice jar that's got a good lid so it's going to keep it really nice and airtight. Keep this in your fri fridge if you feel like you're gonna not use it within six months. Um, but you know, it'll last as well if you have it in a nice, cool, um, preferably darkened um, cabinet where you keep your spices so that the f it stays fresh longest. But don't focus too, too much on the timing that people say to save your spice blends. You really just want to, if you open it up and you give it a smell, if it smells awesome, you're good to go, use it. If it doesn't have any smell, it probably is too old and it won't give very much spice to your stuff. You can still use it, just use more. I hope we see you in January where we will teach you many, many more things. And keep your eyes out for more videos from us. <laughs>